Making your words work. Mastering synonyms and antonyms. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of synonyms and antonyms, and more specifically, how to use them effectively in your writing. We will focus on a critical aspect of this, avoiding overuse and forced substitutions. Stick with us to learn how to incorporate these linguistic tools smartly and improve the overall quality of your writing. First, let's refresh our memory about synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms are words that have the same or similar meanings, like happy and joyful. On the other hand, antonyms are words with opposite meanings, such as happy and sad. One key benefit of using synonyms and antonyms is adding variety to your writing. Repeating the same words can make your work sound monotonous. However, using synonyms can create more engaging text. Antonyms, in contrast, can help emphasize contrasts and conflicts. But here's the catch. Like any tool, synonyms and antonyms can be overused. While they can add spice to your writing, too much of it can make your work confusing or sound unnatural. The trick is to balance the use of original words and their synonyms or antonyms. The key to avoiding overuse is recognizing forced substitutions. These occur when a synonym or antonym is used just for the sake of variety, not because it's the best word for the context. So, remember, context is key. Always consider the nuances of meaning before substitifying a word. Here are a few tips to incorporate synonyms and antonyms effectively. 1. Use a thesaurus sparingly. It's a helpful tool, but don't rely on it excessively. 2. Read extensively. This helps you naturally broaden your vocabulary and understand word usage. 3. Practice writing. Apply what you learn by experimenting with different synonyms and antonyms in your writing. 4. Ask for feedback. Have others read your work to see if your use of synonyms and antonyms enhances or hinders the reading experience. That's a wrap on avoiding overuse and forced substitutions of synonyms and antonyms. Remember, the goal is to make your writing more engaging and precise, not to stuff it with fancy words. Happy writing, and keep practicing! We hope this video helps you improve your use of synonyms and antonyms in your writing. See you in the next one.